season seven, episode eleven, take her back. This is part six, right? Stakes part six, yep. Oh Huh. What is happening? What was that? Because Marcy didn't know them back then. Because she was just a child when she met Simon. I wonder if that's some sort of premonition, almost. Hmm. Because we know Betty is still out there in the wild somewhere, you know, ever since she jumped through time. So, you know, and she helped the magic man and stuff. And she actually became the new magic man. So, I don't know. Weird. Anyways, back to this. Um, yeah, she's poisoned. Okay, you're can can we get her out of here? That ain't true, PB. Marcy took a risk. You helped her because you're her friend. Yeah. Friends take each other to the edge of death. Cuz death is life. Right, Ben? Shoot, yeah. I get poisoned all the time just doing the dishes. I get poisoned on purpose for research. I have a poison lab back at the castle. Well, let's get our butts over there then. Find the Fair enough. All right, cool. Wait, wait. What should I do? Just leave. I don't need LSP here. I don't like the way that came out. They're like eggs. They they, they look like eggs. Oh. Well, make it quick. Is it not her? Uh Is she not real? She's healing. Oh, this is the vampire that heals. Oh. Yeah, how do you kill someone that heals? <laughs> Really? <laughs> Did we have more important matters to attend to? Literally. Like, I don't. Why was there an. <laughs> why was there an election for a monarchy? You know what I mean? <laughs> Let's go. Love that. Uh oh. Hmm. Come get his blood bucket. What? Here she comes. Oh, I do not like the way she's moving. Marcy needs her healing powers. Stake her back in the cabin. I don't like that she has that many legs. I'm sorry? I can't tell. Is the moon like actually... Is her threat essentially like you you can run but you can't hide essentially like i i don't have to keep up with you because i will always find you i, I think that's kind of what she's alluding to i suppose 
weird. I don't like how many legs she has, dude. It's creepy. And tubes. Where are your tubes? This process uses no tubes and involves no quantifiable measurements. Calm your mind and let the crystal medium work its magic. It's science. <sighs> Seems more magic than science, but okay. All right, pup. Okay, hmm. finished. Okay. What now then? We wait like two hours. Oh. Let's do something else. Like what? Video games? I don't like video games. Me neither. I don't even have a system. Why, Why did you bring it up? I got a video game back in my place, but I just got it so I could stay in shape. How do you get in shape playing a game? Uh, it's like it's yoga. Video. Was it like Zumba? Wii Sports even? I do love myself some Wii Sports. Hmm. Okay. No, it's not a game at all. There it is. It's a video game. Uh, it's a video. Yes. A yoga video. Game. A game. There you go. Oh my God. <laughs> That's a long time. You gotta try something? Okay, I guess. What? What was that? Banana guard, too! That's... Uh-huh. Does she, like, make people cower with fear? Fritz says I can't stop her. You kind of have to, Finn! Yeah. Dipstick. <laughs> oh, I know she wanted to say dipshit. That's really funny. Come on, Marcy. Wake up. Wake up. It's spring again. Mm. So I'm guessing what we saw at the beginning, because in the beginning when she was saw Betty and Simon, like she seemed a little bit older, like 40s, 50s maybe, and now she seems really old here. So I'm guessing these are, I wouldn't say really premonitions, but more just like Marceline's ideal world, where Betty and Simon are back together and great, and she's with uh, Bonnie and all that stuff. Ooh. You. Mm -hmm. The moon. Did you just yell pigs at the lock until it opened? Oh, in your face. Marcy now. Oh. That's how she defeated her. Because if she heals, she can't die. She never actually killed her. Like, I guess she just had to be staked, and then she could absorb her. Interesting. Okay. So, does that theoretically mean that Marcy, or at least anyone that has the power to absorb souls, is the only way that vampire could die? Because that's crazy. Finn. You don't need to worry about it anymore. Finn. <laughs> we just got the Vampire King left. Hmm. What's interesting is we only have one target left, the Vampire King, but we have two episodes left of this arc. So it makes me wonder. Because we've been crossing off one person each episode. Hmm. I'm guessing we won't get to him until the last episode, so he probably won't die in the next episode. But this was really good. I really... I think this is one of my favorites of this arc so far. This was might be my favorite episode of the arc the whole hunting for this vampire was all fun I, I think my favorite parts was pb storming the kingdom again um and just assuming control and power which i am totally here for i mean like she said like democracies or um monarchies don't hold elections democracies do it, it just makes you wonder because it was a monarchy right she's literally a princess so why was there an election in the first place 
it was no democracy. It was a monarchy. So I don't even know how she got kicked out. She just kind of was fed up with it and just kind of left in the first place. Um, I find the, I guess they're not really flashbacks, just the states of mind that Marcy's in, like at the beginning of the episode and the end. I, I found those very interesting as well. I just found the whole concept of this episode very interesting and very entertaining to watch. Um, and the vampire they were hunting didn't really have much of a character. She was kind of creepy, like all the lakes she had and stuff. But um, yeah, she just kind of served to, to fill the spot of a bad guy in this episode, I suppose. Nothing really too important to her. Um, although she was different from the rest of them, considering she literally couldn't die. She was just creepy. I, I don't know. I didn't like her. Um, but also this just showed how much Bonnie and Marcy care about each other, too. So honestly, this episode was just fantastic through and through i really really like this episode yeah i this is easily one of my favorites from this arc this might be my favorite or second favorite i can't really decide right now but yeah this was a really good episode uh anyways i'll see you guys in part seven